Tensions are rising significantly tonight between the UK and Iran after the execution of a British Iranian dual national. The Prime Minister has described the killing of Ali Reza Akbari as callous and cowardly, while the Foreign Secretary said his death would not go unchallenged. Akbari, who once served in Iran's defence ministry, had been accused of spying, which he denied. But despite pleas from the UK government, his execution went ahead and his death was announced on Iranian state television this morning. Rachel Younger reports. For almost four years, Ali Reza Akbari was held, often in solitary confinement, in some of Iran's most notorious prisons. When the plan to execute him was made known, there was an international outcry. But it didn't change a thing. His death announced on Iranian state TV this morning. The presenter quoting the intelligence ministry, which called him one of the most important agents of the British spy service. All of that interspersed with what's described as Akbari's recorded confession though his family say he was drugged and tortured. And a fellow British Iranian who was held in the same prison warns we shouldn't believe a word. Yeah, this is, this is usual interrogation. He too had to record something similar. You are mentally paralyzed because you're kept in a solitary confinement, which is very small and tiny. That is really sad that you uh, want to be interrogated more because this is the only human connection that you have. The Prime Minister called Akbari's execution a callous and cowardly act carried out by a barbaric regime with no respect for the rights of their own people. The government responding to what it calls an unacceptable political move. We have uh, summoned the Iranian charge d'affaires. We have imposed uh, sanctions against the Prosecutor General and we have also decided to temporarily withdraw our ambassador for further consultations. Akbari's case wasn't directly linked to the nationwide protests against the regime that have been sweeping Iran, but Britain's criticism of its handling of them has seen relations between the two countries deteriorate. Tonight, Tehran has summoned the UK ambassador as Akbari's wife and children mourn another victim of an increasingly beleaguered regime.